Hi, welcome to the Little Italy Niagara Show. I'm here with Jerry Genova and Art Kershon. Uh, we're here at the Christopher Columbus Festival here at uh, 2223 Pine Avenue. Uh, Jerry? Art, I'd like to welcome you onto the show. How you doing? Good, very good. Art's a guy, how, how many years in politics as Tw an office? 20 years. I'm a retired legislator. That's a long time. You must have been doing something right to be elected that many times. Well, you've got to be friendly with people. You've got to be honest. And that's how I got in office. I had a lot of good, honest friends. And nobody <laughs> asked me for a job. Not a single person? <laughs> Not one. Not one. So how, how, do you, how do you like what's going on here today with this trying, you know, me and Sam and Joe and the club trying to do something in the community and, and for Italian heritage? I think, I think they're doing a heck of a job here. As far as Joe, uh, John, Joe, oh, Sam. Sam is concerned, he's one heck of a guy. I, I grew up, my family grew up with him on 20th Street. Very good friends. I didn't know him personally then because I was a baby. But my mother and father always says they were beautiful people. In fact, when it comes to the Super Sot, uh, my mother. Super Sot, <laughs> yes, we had a good time with that. See, I'm a calibrate, but this guy's a Sicilian. All they know is fish. But, <laughs> but the calibrate, my mother started making Super Sot when I was a little kid. She used to hang them up in the attic. And I used to go up in the attic. I said, what the heck are all those sausages doing up there? So my mother, I said, Ma, what are those super, What are those things? They're Super Sots. What are they? Well, you got to make them dry for a few months, and then you eat them. And, and I and she cut them up and I tasted them. They were fantastic. Ever since then, I've been making super sides. I had Joe and his gang, I mean, uh, Sam and his gang come to the house and I fed them super side. I gave them Italian olives. I gave them Italian cheese right from Italy and Italian bread made. Oh, uh, we loved every moment of it. But now, now we got to know when the table is going to be set again, when everyone can come again. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, I make my own wine. Uh, oh, yeah. Zinfandel wine is one of the best wines. I make it every year. <laughs> kidding around, my mother, my wife, and my kids, they crush the grape in the barrel. I make them crush the grape like they did in the old days. <laughs> no, 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 without their shoes, but they had uh, plastic covering on their feet. Yeah, we, we enjoy the wine very much, especially with the peaches. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. get the peaches. That's the old Italian style. You get the peaches, you put them in a glass of wine, and you eat them. It's fantastic. Sure. All right, well, we'd like to thank you for coming on and uh, all the things you've done over your time being in office, and good luck to you. Thank you very much, Mr. Cachone. I really appreciate that. Joe, I mean, Sam, I hope the heck you do a good job. Do what I did. Be nice to people. Be honest with people, and you can't go wrong. If people need something, if the Lord wills it, and your colleagues go along with you, you've got to help the city out. We're in tough shape, and I hope you can do the job that you should do like I did in the county. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Cachone.
at the uh, Italian American Heritage Festival with Joe T. Berry from the uh, Casa Colombo. Joe, how you doing? Joe, so how do you how do you think everything's going so far? Uh, so far, it's pretty good. You know, um, weather's great day to be out here, enjoy good food, culture, and music. Now, what do we, what? Just so everyone knows, that, you know, when they're watching the show, what what's the kind of stuff that's going to go on here today? Uh, we got all kinds of entertainment going on here today. We have uh, Camarata playing right now. They're playing traditional Italian folk songs. Uh, we're going to have the Coro Club Italia playing. That's our headliner act. They're going to be playing later on. Um, who else we have going on? Oh, we have uh, DJ Italiano by Jovin Viola, who's going to be here. Dr. Silvestri directing uh, uh, a, a, an act from the play Breaking Legs, which is very good. It's a comedy. I think a lot of people will enjoy that. Tony on the scene too. Oh, we got. Yeah. Oh, we can't forget Tony. He's our MC, and he's going to be performing for a little while too. We got uh, Leon. Leon's Pizza. They're going to be doing all the food. We got uh, Honey, uh, honeymoon sweets. Honeymoon sweets, and a group from the Knack Center that are going to be selling some of the goods that they make there. Uh, and don't forget, we're selling our world famous T-shirts here today. Italy, Niagara. We can't forget them. T-shirts, and uh, this will be going on until eight o'clock tonight. So hopefully this is the first time it's happening. Um, they're not all, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So we're, we're just glad that at least for what we have right now, we have a good showing. There's Jenna. Come here, Jenna. And Joe, while we're here, why don't you give us a little background on the history of the Christopher Columbus Society. All right, the Christopher Columbus Society started in 1903. It started out as a mutual aid society, providing aid for Italian immigrants and their families, um, help them get settled here in the United States. It was one of many mutual aid societies all over the Northeast. And um, over the years, though, that's changed. We don't have as many immigrants coming over as, as uh, we used to. So now it's more of a social club. And uh, we have bingo every Friday. So that pays all our bills and supports the club. And we try to do things like this to promote the culture and become more uh, an integrated part of the community. Where will the proceeds from this event go today? Um, go right to the, the Christopher Columbus Society. So please come out and join us here today at the Christopher Columbus signing at 2223 Pine Avenue. Thank you very much, John. Yeah, no